Hello, children. Okay, now let us move towards English. A supplementary readers, uh, lesson number six, the making of a scientist, which is a biography of Richard A. Bright, a scientist, uh, and it is written by Robert W. Peterson. So, who is this Richard A. Bright? About whom the author Robert has written. Richard A. Bright has received the Serial Scholar Award and the uh, Sharing Plow Award for biochemistry and molecular biology it was his fascination for butterflies that opened the world of science for to him so butterflies he was passionate about butterflies and this his passion made the doors open for him to the scientific world at the age of 22 a former scout of the year excited the scientific world with a new theory on how cells work richard h ebright and his college roommate explained the theory in an article in the proceedings of the national academy of science so at the age of 22 he had written his journal uh, about the, uh, the about the uh, how the cells they work and the new theory on how the cells work at the age of 22 this is the big thing okay in uh, the this they wrote an article in the proceedings of the national academy of science it was the first time this important scientific journal had ever published the work of college students in sports that would be like making the big leagues at the age of 15 and hitting a home run your first time at bat so what is this what does this mean so if you can see the star uh, on at the bottom of the page what is this home run a home run in the game of baseball is when the batter scores a run after running safely around all bases and back to the home plate player plate without stopping a ball hit uh, hit out of the playing field is also called a home run getting a paper published at the age of 15 in a scientific journal is here compared to scoring a home run while batting for the first time this means that a child who is merely 15 years of age got uh, his uh, paper an article published uh, in the National Academy of Science was a big thing okay it, it was like scoring a home run it's a big achievement so his achievement has been compared to uh, to score home run over here for Richard Ebright, it was the first in a long string of achievements in science and other fields at uh, and it all started with butterflies and only child a bright grew up north of reading uh, Pens uh, Pennsylvania uh, there wasn't okay Pennsylvania it's a name of a place where he used to stay there wasn't much I could do there he said I certainly couldn't play football or baseball with a team of one but there was one thing I could do collect things so he was not a sport person he was not made for any kind of sport okay so he was not also a person who could work with others in a teamwork in that way but what he could do good uh, best was to collect things so he did and did he ever beginning in kindergarten a bright collected for butterflies with the same determination that has marked all his activities he also collected rocks fossils and coins he became an eager astronomer too sometimes stargazing all night from the first he had a driving curiosity along with uh, with a bright mind he also had a mother who encouraged his interest in learning she took him on trips bought him telescopes microscopes cameras uh, mounting material and other equipment and helped him in many other ways so who was a supporting pillar for mr ebright richard ebright was his mother what she did she supported his uh, passion uh, by help uh, by uh, providing him um, telescopes microscopes cameras mountaining materials and other equipment which helped him in many other ways i was the, uh, his only companion until he started school his mother said after that i would bring home friends for him but at night we just did things together richie was my whole life after his father died when richie was in third grade she uh, and her son spent almost evening at the dining room table if he didn't have any uh, have things to do i found work for him not physical work but learning things his mother said he liked it he wanted to learn in this way his mother supported him and le learn he did 
he earned top grades in school on every day things he was just like every other kid his mother said so richard was a brilliant uh, student in other subjects also by the time he was in the second grade abright had collected all 25 species of butterflies found around his hometown so if you can see the list over here in this table these are the uh, this is the list of uh, those butterflies which he had collected when he was just uh, in grade 3 uh, so what is this gossamer winged butterflies wood nymphs and star satyrs monarchs whites and sulf sulfurs brush footed butterflies so these are the kinds and variety and species of butterflies which he had collected that probably would have been the end of my butterfly collecting he said but then my mother got me a children's book called the travels of monarch 10 that book which told how monarch butterflies migrated to central america opened the world of science to the eager young collector so collecting uh, these uh, 25 species of uh, butterflies at the uh, when he was in grade 3 he thought after that his finding his collecting things butterflies would have stopped if his mother would not have presented him the book called a children's book called the travels of monarch 10 in that book uh, it is told to the collectors of butterflies that how monarch butterflies they migrate to central america and this book opened uh, the world of science to this eager young collector at the end of the book readers were invited to help study butterfly migration they were asked to tag butterflies for research by dr frederick a uh, your uh, okuhart of the university of toronto canada Abright's mother wrote to Doctor Okuhart, and soon Abright was attaching light adhesive tags to the wings of monarchs. Anyone who found a tag, a uh, tagged butterfly, was asked to send the tag to Doctor Okuhart. So, what was given in the uh, at the end of uh, that book, which his mother presented him, that the readers were the readers of that book were invited to study butterfly migrations. They were asked to tag butterflies for research by Doctor or uh, Frederick or uh, Oku Hart of University of Toronto, Canada. So, there what these readers have to do, they have to collect, they have to find out the search for the uh, butterflies. tag them tag them means they have to stick a, a paper on that butterfly which is written over there those who have uh, tagged the butterfly should send it to dr okuhart which uh, who stays in uh, toronto canada so in this way he started tagging those butterflies which he caught uh, at that time the butterfly collecting season around uh, reading last 6 weeks uh, weeks in last summer is this information is given in the graph below if you are going to chase them one by one you won't catch very many so the next step for a bride was to raise a flock of butterflies catching one by one a butterfly was not enough for him so what he decided he decided to raise uh, the a flock of butterflies he would catch a female monarch take her uh, eggs and raise them in his basement through their life cycle from eggs to caterpillar to pupa to adult butterfly then he would tag the butterfly's wings and let them go for several years his basement was home to thousands of monarchs in different stages of development so this is how he raised the butterflies and he tagged them and he then then he let them go eventually i began to lose interest in tagging butterflies it's tedious and uh, uh, there's not much feedback a bright said in all the time i did it he laughed only two butterflies i had tagged were re- were recaptured and uh, they were uh, not more than 75 miles uh, from where i lived so after a certain time he got bored because it was a tedious work very tiring work uh, for of tagging these butterflies and let them letting them go then in the 7th grade he got a hint of what real science is when he entered a county science fair and lost it was really a sad feeling to sit there i'm so sorry till here i was supposed to teach you people in this video <laughs> always i uh, get carried away with the lessons and i continue okay so till here we are going to study uh, mr richard a bright and in our next video we are going to deal with the rest part of his life what he did his achievements and how he became a successful scientist in his life till then please leave your comments in the comment section and read the lesson Uh, write down the difficult words in your um, notebook and mark them in the textbook also and go through the summary till here in the refresher as well till then bye